Mom Robin Ashford had planned to buy a home near Columbia, South Carolina last year, but mortgage rates suddenly shot sharply higher. I found out that I wasn't going to have as much buying power as I would have about two or three years ago. Um, and my mortgage, my monthly mortgage payments were too much that I could handle. So instead, Ashford turned to this brand new community built specifically for renters. I don't have to worry about taxes on the home. I don't have to worry about if something breaks. Um, you know, the it's the landlord's responsibility. They have large open floor plans. That and an increasing out. share of the I landlords are now big builders, like Bruce McNeilage's Nashville-based Kinlock Partners, as more Americans decide to rent not only by necessity, but by choice. We've had a societal shift to people wanting to rent because they want a maintenance-free lifestyle or they want uh, the ability to move to a city and just give the keys back to the landlord at the end of the lease. Builders put up 68,000 new single-family rental homes last year, a 31 percent increase over the year before, according to John Burns' research. I think it's at the early stages of being a very, very big business, just like the apartment market is. Burns counted 708 build-to-rent communities coming soon across the U.S., entire communities of single-family homes built not for sale, but specifically for rent. The people that want a home but have now been priced out due to rising prices and then rising mortgage rates are saying, well, I want a home, I'm going to rent for a while. So it's created more demand for the rental homes. And renters are demanding more of the builders, amenities like pools, fitness centers, dog parks, of course, on-site maintenance, and as in this community, bigger backyards. But all that comes at a price. The average rent here is about $2,200 a month, and single-family rents across the nation are rising. That's something that I do need to think about because trying to save for a home while paying high rent, it's, it's hard. For now, she's enjoying the new home, even if it's not her new home. For NBC News, Diana Olick, Blythewood, South Carolina.